Welcome back to Henry's Garage. In this episode, we work on the rear brakes and I replace the adjuster, the piston, uh, the shoes, um, in order to try to get some of the um, movement out of the brake pedal. Hope you enjoy and, um, you know, enjoy. Uh, well, please like, comment, subscribe. You know the, you know the drill. Thank you. Bye. I am back out trying to look at these um, rear brakes and um, was reminded that um, I might need to adjust them, um, uh, which I hadn't done, which might be why I was having so much travel. And I went to adjust it and the adjuster snapped off. So I had put WD-40 on and stuff like that, but it just went. So I think I'll have a look at uh, replacing these backing plates and all the gubbins with it to make sure it's all good. And here we are the next day and I've had a delivery. So this is a kit to do the rear. Hopefully it will all work for me. So we've got shoes. We have um, two pistons. We've got a whole bunch of strings and stuff. And there we go, we've got the adjuster there. So possibly that's the only bit I need to replace in fact, but we're going to do the whole lot. So, uh, we'll start by taking the wheels off and go again. I made a real mess around here in terms of dripping oil fluid, brake fluid. I was having trouble getting this clip on to hold it in place and I don't think I caught it on anything but my head on the video so I ended up taking the pipe back out, fixing the clip on without the pipe there and then fixing the pipe back in place so that's the way you have to do that.
so that's um, one wheel done. Oh, I won't turn at all. Um, so we got one done. Um, there's all the bits I took off. This is what I've got to put back on on the other side. Those are there. And it appears to be missing two springs. So I'll pick the strongest ones from the four that I'll have. And I'm going to have to reuse springs on the other side. Um, I'm not going to film it because you've seen me doing this side. And we'll come back when it's time to bleed. Right, we've got both sides done. Um, we're now going to bleed the brakes and um, then adjust it for um, so that it catches and, and see how it is then. Right, so it's been bled. It's now time to adjust the system. I've been playing with this a bit. So right now, with it adjusted to there, this wheel is tight. So, undo it a bit. Now, I'm not sure how much I'm meant to undo it, to be honest. Um, so that's tight. Um. Okay, so according to this, you turn it back one notch. So, that would be 45 degrees, uh, 90 degrees. Okay, so, I'm guessing that's okay. Um, so we'll call that done, we'll do the other side, and we'll see what the brakes are like. Not sure how much improvement there is, there's some, but um, I'm not sure if it's enough. I'm going to take it for a test drive and see if it beds in a bit. Right, so we've had a test drive, not only is that not any better, it's actually worse. So... Um, I need to have a think about what to do next and what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this video and see what advice I get back because it's um, it's travelling right down to the bottom I mean it's travelling a lot further now so um, I don't know why now it might be I haven't adjusted the back brakes properly or something um, or I've done something wrong as I was doing it um, I did, there was no air in the system, so, um, you know, I'm expecting something a bit better, unless maybe, I don't know, I just don't know. Okay, so, anyone got any thoughts, please let me know.